Hey guys, Bing here, and today I'm going to show you how to model this. So uh, it's a, a, a ra some railing on the stairs. So it's four high from the steps from the tread to the up level. Okay, so let's start. So first, create a project, and I'm going to create a stairs, a set of stairs, and I'll finish and go back to 3D view, and I'll just delete one of them. So I will just do some adjustment to the stair. So select this stair, edit type, and I'll change the string to open the carry. Open. Okay. So <clears throat> and uh, okay. So now let's do some changing of the railing. So select, click on this railing, edit type. So first, I'm going to remove the the end post. See these two. So edit. Uh, so sorry. Go back. So ballast uh, placement. Edit. So these are the, the start point and post. Oh sorry, start post and post. So I'll just go up now. This is the middle corner one now as well. So all now and okay. Apply. So okay. So we don't have uh, the end post anymore. So now the next one is um. The next one, so edit. So we're going to so see these two posts on here. Use ballast per tread on stairs. So ballast per tread two. So if we want to change that to three, okay, apply. So we will have three. And also, <coughs> we'll see here's a family. So ballast family. So we have these fa uh, options. So um. In this exercise, I'm going to choose some wrong one, but I want it to be a little bit like skinnier. So I'll finish this. Okay, okay, and then go to here family. So on the family, that's a railing, and we open this up. You will see that's that's the round, that's the square. So <clears throat> so I'm just going to open that. Do select right click duplicate. And I'll create a 10 mil one. So don't forget to double click on that. So you can change the parameter of the diameter. So I'll type in 10. So if you want to, you can just change the material, but uh, I'll leave it. So now go back to the rating, edit type, plus the placement edit. So now we will find this one. So that's the round 10 mil we just created. and. Okay, and apply. So now we have this nice round um, baluster. So the next step is to make it full high. So let me just create a floor. So on the top level, so floor and the set up level, and then I'll just create one roughly there. And then also I want to this to roughly match the edge of the stair. So it, the the rating the all these bars that can go up uh, stop at the floor or the ceiling okay so so I pretend that's a ceiling here so now we need to make it flat here so select this rating edit path click on this one again so we have a few options here so just change the flat and also I'm going to change to custom. I'll leave it zero for now and see how um, it will. Uh, okay, with the zero, <coughs> this um, bus to stop here. Yeah, I'm not sure how, um, probably, um, to be honest, I don't know why it's here. So what we can do is we just need to figure out the the dimension from this uh, ceiling or floor to this top of the the top rail. Okay, so go to um, I'll just do it in 3D view. So click on front, and then we just need to <coughs> excuse me <coughs> set set. I'll just set before because in 3D view you need to set. Uh, work plan then you can do dimension in 3d view so sorry set pick a plan i'll pick the side of this um, stairs and then we can do dimension in 3d view 
So now I'm going to, so if I want these uh, balusters to stop here, so I'm just do, I'm going to do this. So 709.1, okay? So now we, we can just edit path, so click on this path, 709.1, and okay. So now these balusters go up and stop. And then you can even see that's a, a top rail. So you can leave, just leave it here. You can leave the top rail it's in the floor, but if you don't want the top rail, that's okay. So I'll temporarily hide this floor to HH. And if you move your cursor on this top rail tab, and then you can select this one, unpin, and then you can delete it. Okay, so and then I'll, so I'll HR to uh, reset temporary high and then we have this floor so all this it's quite it's nicely stopped at the the, uh, the bottom of the floor or the ceiling okay so that's it uh, if you have any question let me know um, otherwise I'll see you next time thank you bye